And um, what, what do you see? What do you see? Short range, medium range, buddy. What, what's the Lord been showing you? Well, I want to I want to attempt to do something to to maybe read a passage of scripture that yeah. I did the message twice because I did it before the election because a lot of times I'm trying to do that in a presidential year. I did this message, full message, prior to the election, and then I did it like the week after the election. I came back. I said, I'm going to remind you. I preach this. You need to hear this. Uh, I shared this, and you will remember this. I'm going to read the passage. We may have a little bit of time to talk about it because I believe it speaks to the church and the time in which we're living right now, how God is going to raise people up. Uh, it, it, it relates to a period of time. You know that if you if, if you know 2021 is going to be very similar to 2020, a lot of the same issues, as I've already said, it'll be a sequel year. So it's, it's Jaws 3 and it's all those Star Wars, whatever. It's, it's a sequel year. But there's a passage in the book of Haggai that I want to read. It's Haggai chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. And read it and listen closely because this is a prophetic word directly out of Scripture that I believe applies to this time. And it's, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's the first message I did uh, that was a 2021 message. He tells, he's, he's prophesying Haggai. He says, in the seventh month, in the 21st day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Haggai, saying, I want you to speak now to Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel's name means melted in Babylon. And it comes from a word meaning confusion. And yet, at the same time, it comes from a word that means to pour the anointing on. So he's saying there's going to be a period of confusion, but the church needs to get ready because God's going to pour out his anointing on the church. The church needs to get ready because he's going to pour out his anointing on the church. That you're, You've been melted in Babylon, and you're, you're confused and you're scattered. But God's poured out his spirit upon his church, specifically the people of praise, the people of Judah. Wow. Now follow with me. So he said, speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtel, the governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the residue, the remnant of the people. Speak to the remnant of the people. There is a remnant. He said, who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? You saw the way things used to be. One of the things I told the church I said, be careful. 2021 will carry with it the, the idea of looking at things and remembering the way it used to be. Wow. I said, especially with older people. I said, you're going to sit back and look in 21 and say, 2021 and go, wow, I remember how it used to be. We used to be able to go to Disney World and not have to wear a mask and not have to be six feet apart and not just be 20. You could walk down the street and eat a turkey leg, you know, you're going to, you're going to be able to, you're going to remember, now follow with me. How do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes in comparison? Is it as nothing? Yet now be strong, be strengthened. O Zerubbabel says the Lord, be strong. O Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest, be strong. All of you people of the land says the Lord and work for I am with you says the Lord of armies, the Lord of hosts. According to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, so my spirit remains among you. Do not fear. Hallelujah. For this is what the Lord of hosts says. The Lord of hosts always means the Lord of armies. For this is what the Lord of armies said. Yet once, it is a little while, shortly, in a little while, I will shake the, shake heavens, the heavens and I'm shake the earth and I'm going to shake the sea. And I'm going to shake the dry land. I will shake all the nations and the desire. Now, here's the thing. The word desire means the treasure. Yeah. The treasure of the nation shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. The silver is mine. The gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, says the Lord of hosts. My goodness. And that's the word I read to our church. I did a whole message on it. Wow. And I, I really feel the witness right of the Lord spirit. Of I mean, I'm, it's like all over me right now. It's like a prophecy Hallelujah. being read straight out for the time in which we live, oh, Philip. Oh, Jesus. And this was the first 2021 message I preached to our church. And I preached it either in September or October. And I came back at the week after the election. I was gone on a staff retreat, came back on that Sunday morning and said, the Holy Spirit told me to 
to do this message again. You didn't get it because everybody was like in bewilderment. They were in confusion. They were in confusion. They were Zerubbabel. They were Zerubbabel. They were so birthed, the word being birthed in confusion, melted by Babylon. They had just literally been melted by the spirit of Babylon. Yeah. And God said, in the midst of the confusion, get ready, I'm going to pour out my spirit. And there's going to be, God is going to bring the, the treasure of the nations to God's people. I believe that. I believe that. that was, I felt like a prophecy huh. that, that God gave me. And I, I've got a full message on it. I've done the full message. I did it again. Uh, it would be the Sunday after the election. But so I did it before online. the election. <laughs> Can full get, it's online. Can full you can go to our website and get it. It's called the it's called 2021 and the prophecy of Haggai. Okay. That's what it's so called. Like if, if they go and to I your website, whole message, go to our website, which is uh, you can just go to newlifelakecity.com. Okay. Uh, if you'll if you'll type in newlifelakecity.com, it'll take you there. You'll be able to go into our archive. <laughs> well, I, we, we that, a, we've got a slide up on the screen right now, and you can go there and listen to the whole message. And that was done the week after the election as a as a reprise from what God had told them before the election. And I already preached the message. I preached the exact same notes. We, we tend, I, I went back and preached the exact same notes. The thing is this, buddy. We tend to look at everything through the eyes of, of the temporal, the, the, the earthly. And we, you yeah. know, we, we go up and down. Out. What God's been showing me continuously in this whole season we're in that we, we tend to look at waves. We tend to look at the, the wave coming in and the next wave coming in. And you've seen those funny things on, on Facebook when folk get caught up in the wave and it rolls them back and forth or knocks them down or whatever. The waves are always going to be going up and down. But the secret is to watch where the tide is. And in, in the affairs of man, God, God is not restricted and constricted to an election. He's not limited to how we feel at the moment. God's bigger than all of those things. And the Bible says that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. He knows everything from the beginning to the end. So although we are in this blind cycle and we're thinking, oh my goodness, what's happened? We thought Donald Trump would get in for two um, seasons and, and all of these things. The Lord is sitting in the heavens laughing, saying, if you think that I'm restricted by Joe Biden... Or Donald Trump, it doesn't matter which yeah. one. I'm bigger than both of them, and I will work my will, my plan according to my will. And God is going to lift up, and He says, "I will build my church, and the gates of hell, the councils of hell." When Boaz met the redeemer kinsman, when she, when he was talking about Ruth, the Moabitess, it was at the gates because that was where the councils were held. So the, the scripture, "I will build my house." Uh, and the, and the, I will build my church and the council, the, the court of hell will not prevail against it. So although I'm frustrated as all get out right now and I, and I want to kick and shout and scream at the, at the stupidity of people, I'm going to sit back and say, okay, then Lord, as long as, as, long as I'm looking unto you who is the author and the finisher of my faith, he promised us, listen, he didn't tell you that he's going to start you out and then leave you hanging. He's going to finish your faith as well as start your faith. And if he was the one that started your faith, trust me, he's got an ending coming and I believe it's going to be glorious. And I believe that the whole earth will be filled with the glory of the Lord. I just, I just retaught that message last Wednesday night on he is the author and finisher. I went back and pulled it out. The Holy <laughs> Spirit said, bring it out. And he, and, and at the end of it, I said, God has got a book of faith being written about your life. Absolutely. He's got a book of faith being written about your life. He's the author of it. You have to yeah. walk by faith and follow through. And he always promises to finish. He's going to finish. So he is the author and the finisher of your book of, the, of faith and the book of your life of faith. And that's what God's doing right now. But when we were, before we came on, you know, and I had all these things kind of laid out. One of the things the Holy Spirit really said, you need to read the prophecy of Haggai. You need to read the prophecy of Haggai on this program. And I really feel the witness to that, that, that people need to grab a hold of that. That it's they're they're looking at the way things used to be. Yeah. They're not the way they anticipated. Yeah. And 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 people are saying, well, Trump's gonna get in. You know, I I I personally believe that's a real possibility. 
So I'm not, I'm not negatively saying anything about that. Uh, it may not happen the way we think it's going to happen, but, but he's not gone away. He's not gone no, away. So I actually, but, what, I, what I was thinking the other day about this whole, the whole situation, I think Trump being liberated from the restrictions of office as a private individual, I think he could have a bigger impact in America. <clears throat> if he were to start his own news network or his own um, plat social platform, if, I, if, 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 there, if there was to be a patriot platform where we could go and discuss these things, yeah. I have a feeling that you'd, yeah. have, you'd have hundreds of millions of people in it, on it in a week or two. And I think that all of those things are being talked about behind the scenes right now and, and waiting for time to, to, to pass to, pa to roll these things out. So in that regard, I'm not discouraged. But getting back to Haggai, that, that's, that whole book was written about the remnant going back to rebuild the temple. And yeah. they, they said, yeah. I'll tell you what it is, because of all the hardship, it's not yet time to do this. It's not yet time for the, the house of God to be restored. And then yeah. the Lord took umbrage against them and says, hey, is it right that you go to your houses with sealed roofs? In other words, they had finished their own houses, but my house lays, lies waste. And if you, if you look at all the things that God caused to make them, re, it, 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 all through that scripture, consider your ways, consider your ways, consider your ways. And I believe that God is talking to America as we speak. And he's saying to all of us, consider your ways, think about what you're doing. And they, they, yep. they suffered horrendous inflation. The oil, they went to the, the oil press and looked for, looked for 40 measures, but there was but 20. Why, saith the Lord? Because I blew upon it. And he, he restricted yep. them and he caused them by his will to suddenly say, let's go up to the mountains. Let's cut down those trees. Let's start building the house of God. And I think that we are going to go into a season prophetically of rebuilding the house of God. That all of this stuff about staying home and staying away and, and, and just going online and, and, and kind of bouncing across all the different platforms. I believe that God is going to build and rebuild His church in this season. Like they did in that season. 